Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Sam McNeil. He's with the University of Kentucky Biosystems and Ag Engineering. Good morning, Sam. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm great, and you're going to talk about today one of like the premier events that happens in the state of Kentucky as far as agriculture and farm machinery goes. Yeah, well, the National Farm Machinery Show has been going on for 55 years now, and, and uh, it was kind of interesting, and a lot of people don't know that uh, its roots go back to uh, an event that started in 63 uh, to... Um, uh, actually, one of our former professors uh, had a, a strong hand in getting that started in Lexington. Uh, a couple of years later, it moved elect to, uh, to Louisville, and it's, it's really grown, of course, since then uh, to be a much bigger event than what they ever envisioned initially. But I think the initial uh, idea was to showcase uh, what electricity could do on the farm and how it could ease the labor, and, uh, and then, of course, pull in the, the mechanical power. And it really grew from there. Uh, in '65, again, the first time they had, had it in Louisville, uh, there was a couple, probably a couple hundred farmers there, uh, vendors, uh, educators like yourself, myself, um, FFA, you know, instructors, and all that. Um, and then in '69, they added the tractor pull, and that was uh, there was a West Kentucky connection with that, of course, as well. But uh, so I think they had like three classes, and 66 tractors, something like that. And of course, this year we're going to have. I think I counted 16 uh, competitions, counting trucks and tractors, maybe, uh, well, 16 tractors and maybe six truck events in the pool. But um, over the years, you know, uh, the Ag Engineering Department at UK has been uh, present uh, at every show. Uh, we've had a lot of visitors. It's a great networking opportunity, but it's a great opportunity for us to showcase some of the research that the, that the faculty, the staff, and the students are involved in. And so this year, I wanted to kind of share some of the things we're going to have. Uh, one is going to be the quarter scale tractor, which is always uh, a popular um, exhibit. Stop. For sure. yeah, yeah, it is. It's, and we always. So this year, we're going to have the, the first uh, tractor we made. That, and these, these tractors are built, and they actually uh, compete annually in Moline, Illinois, with uh, other universities around. Um, they have a pool event. They have a showmanship event. They have a presentation. They're all judged on like 13 different categories. Uh, and then the teams decide uh, somewhat uh, the ranking of each of the competitions, more or less. Okay. So, so we started uh, in 99, the UK team did. And, um, and by 2012, we won the whole show, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, we had a really good showing in 2012. So, you know, it took us a while to get competitive in that event, but um, the faculty members, the students, they did a really good job. It's a great team building exercise. Mm -hmm. and it, it's an opportunity for the students to apply the skills that they learn in the classroom to a real world problem and, and situation. Um, talk more about that, but I only want to uh, showcase some of the other events we're going to have. We are going to have a tabletop display where farmers can, uh, to, can design a uh, beef handling facility. Uh, we've got components of the corral that they can uh, build more or less like a, a Lincoln log kind of a uh, exercise, I guess you might say, but they can lay it out uh, before they decide to, be, to, to invest any money or order equipment or set, you know, set posts in concrete. Yes. <laughs> when it, after that point, it's kind of hard to change things. But so uh, they're going to have that opportunity. As also, um, uh, there's, a, there's a student of ours that is, has um, worked up a, um, uh, a precision tool for soil sampling. Hmm. And it provides the opportunity to do uh, in site or in the field analysis. So oh, it's wow. going to be as a very sophisticated uh, tool. We're hoping to have that one in. It it's, it's, may not fit with all the other things we have going on because we're also going to have one of the hemp harvesters <laughs> that uh, Tim Stombaugh had designed over the years, uh, in past years. And so uh, from that, we uh, have discussions on uh, hemp production. Uh, and we are going to have a, a, a series of workshops across the state this spring um, from Pendleton County to Marshall County. Mm -hmm. uh, and the event here in Warren County is going to be on March 25th, so I want to get that on people's calendars as well. But I invite people to stop by. The uh, UK booth is in the West Wing. It's, usually kind of, it's about in the middle of that, of that area, so it's easy to find. 
and uh, look forward to seeing people there. It's always a good opportunity to see folks from the past years. Absolutely, and that's, that event is happening February 12th through the 15th. Yes, exactly. Yep. And so always falls on val around Valentine's yeah, Day. Take your there. Valentine to the tractor pull <laughs> and see all. But there is, there's so much to see, there's so much to learn, and a great networking opportunity to visit with some farmers that you might not have seen in a while. So exactly. Sam, certainly appreciate the information. And if you have any questions about anything we talked about today, make sure to contact your local Extension office and we'd be happy to help. Thanks, Sam, for visiting with us, and we hope that you have a great day. Thank you. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.